Good morning. Welcome to Crafting with Carmel. This week I have been very busy preparing this palette right here. As you can see, we do food deliveries on Tuesday for the city of Mobile, and we have a plethora of palettes that we are trying to utilize and come up with some fun crafts for you guys. So this week had to pull some boards off of some of these guys, reposition them in here, nail them down, and I have gone on and primed this before we started because the wood is just soaking in the paint. Um, so as you can see, it's a pumpkin and we're just going to start. I've got two colors of orange that we're going to try to just lay in here. We've got a little grass palette um, stencil that I've cut out and we have a little topper that I'll do. So I'm going to get started. We're going to start with our really bright orange and just kind of come in here and do a little outline. Um, when you paint on a palette or when you paint on paper or anything you're doing, you always kind of want to go the, the way that the object is. So with this it being a pumpkin and circular, we kind of want to go that way. I'm going to try to put these little grooves in here. And of course you don't have to use spray paint. You can use a brush if you choose to. I just thought this would be kind of fun try something different. We might darken these up just a little bit, a little bit thicker. This wood takes a lot of paint, so you definitely want to prep it before you get going. You want to be able to see the colors pretty well. And of course, all you guys, if you want to see it in person, you can drive by County Hudson and we're going to sit it somewhere for display, but come take your picture with our pumpkin. All right, make that one a little bit thicker. And let's go to the next one. This is more like a, a column, this is spiced amber. So let's see how it does. It's almost more like a, an orangey brown. Boy, this is still kind of the paint soaking in. I probably should put a second coat of primer on there. But we're going to go back over all of it, so that's no big deal. go back over that first orange that I did because you can see this stuff is really it's gonna take some paint to cover it. Let's get our bright one back going. I think this is going to help with these little grooves. Alright. Can you see a difference? I think I can see a little bit of a difference. But I'm not sure if I like this lighter color, so I'm going to kind of go over it with this other orange. I might lose some of my grooves, but I'd rather it be brighter. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. So we're getting a much brighter pumpkin now. The 
spiced amber, I'm not as crazy about. It's harder to see. Maybe it's just because the wood is really soaking it all in. So we're just going to kind of abort that plan and go on and just cover the whole thing with the brighter orange. definitely see it now. Sometimes that's what these painting projects are. You learn as you go what's going to work and what's not. You got to be willing to go with it and change. All right. So we've got to let this little guy dry. This paint It's going to take about 20 minutes. And um, while we wait on that, we've got our little topper here that's going to go on top. So I'm going to go on and spray paint it. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on it as like a little highlight. And I'm going to come back with the green and kind of go around the edges. This is almost like a bluish green. But we're going to let all of this dry. When the pumpkin draws, I'm going to come back with this, which is the, the made palette of grass, and we're going to put this down here and spray, and I will post a final picture. Thanks for joining me. Bye.